Hey, 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 it's Bab! <coughs> Every time I do weird voices, I have to cough. Hey guys, so today I am stealing a video idea from the beautiful Nerd in Translation. Uh, she did this video called 12 Books of 2012, and that's what I'm doing with my video. You should also go check out her channel because she's awesome and stuff, so I'll leave her link down below. I will also annotate my nose. Click it. Click that nose. You know you want to click that nose. <laughs> Let's jump into my top 12 books of 2012. The first book I'm picking is After Ever After by Jordan Sonnenblick. I read this book in February, I believe, and I absolutely loved it. It's super funny. I would suggest this book for somebody who's maybe in middle school, but I really enjoyed it. Even though I'm not in middle school, even though I am a sophomore in college, I enjoyed this book. The next book I chose is Food, Girls, and Other Things I Can't Have by Alan Z Zadoff. Zadoff? Zadoff? Whatever his name is. This book was freaking hilarious. I feel like this is geared towards more like freshmen, sophomores, and high school, but it's super funny. I loved it to death and it made me laugh and there are birds in the sky out there. Okay, I'm making a video right now, that's what I'm doing. Check out this book if you want something funny and really light, fast-paced. It's just a funny little contemporary book, so check it out, man! The next book is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. This book, you have to check it out, you little shucks. It's a dystopian book and it's full of just crazy happenings and you need to check it out if you are a dystopian fan because I'm more than guaranteed that you will enjoy it. The next book I'm choosing is The Forsaken by Lisa M. Stasse. Woo! This is a dystopian and it's got a beautiful cover as you can see. I always talk about this cover. I am obsessed with it. You guys are well aware of that, but just a really good book. I wouldn't say it was my favorite dystopian ever, but I really enjoyed it, and I'm excited for this trilogy or series, whatever it's going to be turned into. The next book I chose is Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. Uh, I was recommended this by Raylene over at Padfoot and Prom 07, and I really, really enjoyed it. It's so funny. It's got a lot of crude humor in it and a lot of pervertedness. The next book I'm choosing is Speak by Laurie House Anderson. This book, just the feels. The feels. Uh, it was so sad, but it was so good at the same time. I really enjoyed it. The next book I have is the actually bind up of the series, the Spiderwick of the Chron <laughs> the Spiderwick of the Chronicles, the Spiderwick Chronicle series. I just finished reading this a couple days ago, and I loved it. Ugh, so whimsical. It is a middle grade book for sure, but it's still really good. I still really enjoyed it. Being 20 years old, I enjoyed this book. You check it out. It's pretty cheap on Amazon too, so go pick it up. This also has a really pretty cover. I kissed a book and I liked it. The next book I chose is Lemony Snicket's Who Could That Be at This Hour? All the Wrong Questions. This book was really just great. It brought me back to when I read the A Series of Unfortunate Events series. Just Lemony Snicket's slash Daniel Handler's writing style is my favorite ever and um, reading this just brought me back to my childhood for some reason. Uh, so I really, really enjoyed this book. The next favorite book I have, I'm sure most of you will probably know what it is, Ah, ah, beautiful creatures! Ah. Do I even really have to explain why this is my favorite? You should know why this is my favorite. Because it's so spankin'. Spankin'. Good, sure. We'll go with spankin'. It's so spankin' good. It's so just great and delicious. Yep, delicious. And then there was The Perks of Being a Wallflower. This book was just so fantastic. I'm planning on rereading this in January just because I loved it so much, and it's also just a really quick read. I loved the format of the book, and I just loved all the characters. I fell hard for each and every one of them, and uh, you should definitely check it out. I'm so excited to reread it. <sighs> the next book I have is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I just finished rereading this this month, and the first time around, I, I was expecting so much more out of this book. I was expecting it to be creepy and eerie and scary, and it wasn't any of those things. But the second time around, I went into it with a different mindset, and I absolutely fell in love with this book, and I changed my rating for it, and I deleted my review on it. I just loved it so much, I'm so excited for this series. Obviously, I was still a little bit weirded out by the romance, if you know what I'm saying, in this book. Still weirded out by it, second time around, but... Other than that, I seriously love this book, and uh, you should definitely check it out if you haven't read it yet. And finally, we have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. 
all the feels. All of the feels. Just all of them. If you haven't read this book yet, then you need to stop what you're doing and go buy this from a bookstore and read it because it's amazing. It's seriously so good and mm. the feels guys, the fails. So yeah, that's the top 12 books that I read this year. Uh, you should let me know what your top 12 books are down below and also if you've read any of those books and what you thought about them. Let me know and I will talk to you soon with a new video. Bye!